Hello and welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am Osayua Misale, and today, Akanima Ojo, the one and only, and I, that I have missed, she refused to come on her birthday week. But she didn't want to bring cake for us. That, you know I've that that's you. not true. I've, I've just been ill and then with everything Yeah. Happened, How have you Ill. been though? I am recovering. You look well for somebody that's just recovered. I'm serious. I think my eyes are tired, but thank you for the compliment. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. I'm well, thank you. How are you? Well, should I say I have been busy trying to read and keep up with um, the Twitter. protests and also mm. trying to participate in my own way mm -hmm. and, and protest and amplify the efforts of people that are on the field. Oh, okay. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's fantastic. Oh, so the way I just said like on the field, like we're, you know. <laughs> we're on the field. So, <laughs> so finally I had to go on the field today. Um, to go and do some some work which i think uh, fumi will show that later but uti is joined us via zoom uti elu how are you doing i'm good thank you how are you we're good <laughs> uti you have braids too you see we finally did braids together I do. for the first time in nearly five years i have like these kind of braids normally my hair's natural mm -hmm. so i only ever do like um kinky twists and things like wow. that but i just wanted well, to do welcome. something different when the spirit when the spirit <laughs> oh, hey, you <laughs> have you been coping with the log the protest that's going on and all of that but i've been it's been interesting actually so i mean i've been home so i haven't gone anywhere because obviously my route is blocked um to my various destinations what you know of work and that so i've been home the whole time which unfortunately it's put me back into that, um, what's the mindset now? Back into that full remote working mindset where you're working from sun up to sundown. So like I just wake up, my laptop is there and I work till whenever I fall asleep. But you know, the struggle is what it is. Um, it's an interesting time in Nigeria. It's an interesting yeah, time life, to be alive actually. and experiencing. Very interesting time. So, Honestly yeah. speaking, it's, mm. it's actually an interesting time to be alive. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm really hopeful. I went on the field today. I was so excited about what I saw. I saw hope, you know, and um, it's, it's quite interesting because today we're talking protests and here's what we found as today's quote. There may be times when we are powerless to prevent injustice, but there must never be a time when we fail mm. to protest. Mm. So I, I think this is very apt, very you apt. know, because we've been powerless for a very long time, you know, against injustice, against, um, what's it called, um, police bad brutality, gov bad governance and all of that. It seemed like we've been powerless for a long time. But for the first time, I think everybody's coming together. You know what to say, you know what? I want to also lend my voice in this fight because we are seeing that this fight is not just for a select few, the fight mm. is for it's all for of everyone. us. Yeah, it's for everyone. Yeah, Uti, what do you think? Uti, are you there? I thought I so, did we, so yeah? We, yeah, so before Uti comes on, you, you rightly said it. So the fight is really for every Nigerian, it's not just for a particular set of people, and that's one, one thing that stands out in this protest is that we are united along the lines that we seem to divide, mm. you know? So it's a really united front. Everyone has a sad story. So before now, you would even take it for granted. But when we collate our stories, you would see that everyone has, it's so resounding and it's about time. And I'm really, really happy to be alive in a time where Absolutely. a Nigerian youth is, is standing up and using our Absolutely. Yeah. So we're asking, is there an awakening in the Nigerian youth? And for how long? Can we sustain the ongoing protest? And we have Eduardo and Esther to talk to us on this. But first, let's take a break for what's in the news.